We've been talking a lot about the stock, uh, obviously more than doubling in the past you know, 30 days or so. Uh, the bonds have done well, too. I mean, trading above par. Uh, but you spoke to someone or you know of someone out there who's saying mm, not quite so fast. And yeah, this isn't the only person who is uh, definitely mm -hmm. feeling that the bonds are too expensive. But this is now for um, getting into February. We saw this earlier in January, as I was just telling you guys, that the bonds are now been trading above par for the first time since they've been issued. Mm -hmm. And that was back in August 2017. So really has taken quite a ride for Tesla's bonds here. And it seems that a lot of people are calling out that this is really beyond what fair value should be. Uh, so when you get that question of like, oh, this might be a great opportunity to refinance, well, it depends if like the capital markets are really receptive to yeah. that idea that you can then get investors on board with that story that, hey, you know, like this is really should be a four handle coupon instead of a five. Well, that's what I'm interested. I mean, this is I'm looking at uh, on the Bloomberg terminal. This is a triple C plus. At least that's the composite Bloomberg rating on this. And it's a 5.3 percent coupon, which actually seems low for a triple C company. Right. And you put this in the context so, of two of when yeah. this was issued a couple of years ago, that at the time that was a record low coupon for a bond of this rating and maturity. Gotcha. Okay. So definitely low okay. by 2017 <laughs> standards and by 2020 standards. Okay. And now the yield is not is down to, I think, the, the low 4 percent range. So right now, it's straddling the average yield between a single B and double B mm. yield, which is where people kind of think fair value should be. But this mm -hmm. is definitely on the tighter end of gotcha. that range.